with a fire up the motor to make sure it's worth paying the launch fee. I've been stuck there before where I get the truck part and then pay for the launch and then the motor doesn't stop. Yep. <laughs> pressure. Well, anyways, guys, we're going fishing today with Ish with Fish. He's been kind of absent on YouTube lately, but pretty much Ish and I talk every week. We trade fishing reports and just kind of talk crap to each other. But this is my first time on an inflatable boat today. A little bit different than a kayak, kind of in between a boat and kayak fishing. Huge thank you to Ish for taking me out. Time, brother. Cool. So All tell right. me a little bit about your fish finder, Ish. Yeah, so this is the Garmin uh, 1093 UHD, all touch screen, um, has uh, na some navigation maps, side scan, should be just perfect to put us over uh, live bait schools and uh, hopefully we can bounce under them and catch some fish. What's really cool about this fish finder is you can really see what the bait is doing. You can see if they're getting chased, what depth they're at, yeah. uh, how concentrated they are. Yeah. When bait is really concentrated, guys, that means that um, a fish is kind of pushing them together. Yeah, and look at the detail. This this is bubbles from the motor, um, you know, the motor wash uh, as the motor warms up. So what we want to look for are slightly larger clumps of bubbles that are going to be between 10 to 20 feet below us, and uh, hopefully that's schools of bait with uh, predatory game fish uh, right underneath. So there's been some big halibut being caught lately. That's what I'm going for today. Water looks a little dirty, but it's calm and there's not too many people out today. I think we're gonna go for halibut and when the tide gets right, we'll go for stripers too. And before we start, I wanna go over my setup here. I have the Akuma Cold Water SS, my favorite reel for fishing the Bay Area. Nice power handle, line counter, and it's even got a clicker. Low profile reel with tons of line capacity, and it's all stainless steel internals. So even in the salt water, it won't corrode. And I have that paired up with the Akuma Monterey, named after Monterey, California the home of halibut, crab, squid, sardines. This is an eight foot medium action, 10 to 20 pounds. Huge shout out to Okuma for sponsoring this episode and for Ish for taking us out. If you guys haven't watched Ish's channel yet, he has a really kid friendly channel. Great for your, your family. Can we put in neutral? How's the drag? All right, we're with Nick with Ish. <laughs> Nick, putting Ish on some fish. Good long leader. Yeah, cool. All right, one thing about halibut, they can't swim backwards, so lift, lift. I'm gonna lift and then let the pressure go and they swim right into the net. I don't know, that's about as big as the other one. Think so? Short an inch. Sorry to bother you, but yeah, yeah, it's kind of important for halibut fishing. Yeah, those right? Yes, so like yeah. Ish says, so. mouth closed and not manipulating the tail, total length. Yeah, total length. So the longest point on a halibut is usually out here. Sometimes it's like here. Really? Actually, it might be here now. Yeah, so yeah, we yeah. measure to like wherever the longest point is, which I think in this fish is right here. Okay. But you cannot do this, right? Yeah, you shouldn't do that. Like <clears throat> that's manipulating the tail. Yeah, yeah. Like some people like do this. Yes. Yeah, sure yes. Like, so how much extra length does it give you here? Let's see. So that's about what do you what do you think that length is? Regular? Regular not, length? Yeah, no, it's not about, it's about like twenty-two and a quarter inches. Twenty-two and a quarter, okay. And then manipulated, what's it's the about, most you could get it to? You get like an extra half inch, it seems like. Wow. Okay, 
Some people like have a measuring tape and they measure it across the fish. And then, yeah, yeah that's like the fish is the most concave. Got it. So. Yeah, so what he's saying there, guys, is if you're using a ruler, a measuring ruler, um, if you start from the tip here and you go over the top, this kind of rounded part of the halibut gives you an extra quarter of an inch or so. Yeah. Yeah, normally if it's like really close, it's best just to release the fish. Yeah. Just in case. You can also sex the fish too, which I can show you. Great. I'd love to learn that. So underneath this pelvic fin, okay, there's like a vent right here. Okay. So you just run along this area kind of. And if nothing comes, oh, I saw it. Let me get the uh, truck thing. Oh, that's, that's not what, that's yeah, something stop. else. <laughs> but if nothing comes out, then it's probably female. Uh, if nothing comes out, then you're actually, I'm not entirely sure, but it looks like it's female because I see a little bit of clear liquid coming out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And if it's a male, it would be a very milky white. Yes. All right guys, so doing a little bit of scouting. Check this out. This is the Bio Minnow by Fish Labs. They came out with this Bio Minnow and I really like this color, especially in the bay where the water is not super clear. And not a lot of jerk baits come in this Fire Tiger color, especially with the hooks that are needed to catch these halibut. Check out that hook set. Perfect size hooks too. And it's not a great casting lure because it's kind of on the lighter side, but it has a really nice lip on it, which gets it a little bit deeper than the Lucky Craft Minnow, which I think was the key to catching this halibut today. So if you troll off of a kayak, check out the Bio Minnow by Fish Labs, especially this Fire Tiger color. Absolute killer bait. No need to upgrade the hooks. I do a Rapala knot here and take off the split ring that it comes with. I think he gives it a little better action. Nice rattle to it. All right guys, so Adam doesn't normally fish Sundays, but he blessed us with his presence today. If you guys didn't know, Adam fishes on the Autopilot 120 by Old Town. I absolutely love mine. But Adam had a short day today. He has a softball game that he has to go to. So he was only able to fish for about an hour. But he hooked, what, four fish today? Yeah, cut four, two shakers, two keepers. It was pretty good, you know, yeah, all morning. The bite was pretty good today. Yeah, really good. Yeah, so. Sure people are gonna come in with limits by the time the tournament's over. Adam, he caught two keepers. One was 30 inches, one was... Roughly. 23. 23. So we're going to, so this contest is by weight. 
not by length. Let's see. I'll put my guess in first, guys. A 30 inch fish is pretty big. Normally, oh. Yeah, yeah. Not the fattest. Oh yeah, it's, it's a good fish. Oh yeah, that's a good fish. That's heavy. That's a good fish. Do you want to hold this or you want nope. me to do it? Go ahead. Alright. Okay, it's zeroed. Adam and I don't weigh fish very much. We mostly measure it. Alright, ready? Oh, that's a big fish. 9.4 something? 9.6? Nine, uh, nine, four, six. There, 9.46. Adam's gonna win the fishing tournament, then go win his softball game. I'll be back. 